All right. Oh, we're starting. All right. Great. Nice. Welcome to the Flux Project Lightning Talk. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, friends. Hey. Woo. Yeah. All right. Um, and Flux provides a secure and scalable GitOps. Yeah, I mean, if you don't already know Tamo, this is Tamo, and oh, I'm Lee. Hi, by I'm the way. Tamo. Yeah. So, but yeah, we're the uh, here at the Flux, uh, Flux Lightning Talk, yes. and we also have Flagger, right? Yes. We put our names at the end. So I'm Tamo Nakahara. Um, I guess my hat is Community Manager XXX. Yeah. Uh, I'm Lee. I work in R and D at on Tanzu. But... Excellent. Yeah. Um, so, what is Flux? And in parentheses, Flagger, which is a subproject. Um, so Flux is really the project that created the term GitOps, which the short term is um, operations by pull request. So basically, Flux really leverages the power of Kubernetes. It listens to your repo where you have a YAML file that defines the single source of truth of your cluster. And then when it notices a change, it tells Kubernetes, oh, please make sure that the cluster looks like what's in the YAML file. So if any bad agents on the outside try to make changes, um, it'll completely get um, overwritten. Um, and Flagger is also a subproject of Flux that provides um, progressive delivery, like Canary deployments, uh, in between that process, which we'll explain a little bit more. Um, so it is a graduated project, as you know. Uh, we also have general availability. And uh, security, scale, and reliability are central to Flux, because many, many enterprises, such as financial institutions, government, many more, rely on Flux. And many of the vendors, such as Microsoft, AWS, GitLab, all rely on Flux under the hood to provide GitOps to their customers. Yeah. So, what is under the hood? Yeah, um, a bunch of a bunch of components and pieces that you can really depend on. I love that you mentioned that we've made the push in the Flux project to hit general availability uh, because when you Consider being that level of production ready with the with the number of promises that we're making across all of our APIs and all of our features. Um, to say that Flux is generally available is a huge accomplishment. So thank you to anybody in this room who has helped us uh, either as a user providing feedback uh, or as somebody who has gotten our APIs uh, to that finish line uh, as a, you know a contributor to the project. Thank you so much. Uh, Flux is built with security, scalability, and reliability in mind. Uh, we implement Flux as a series of microservices. Uh, several controllers own all of the individual pieces uh, that you need to have a sophisticated approach for your continuous delivery, GitOps, right? Uh, and so we have a Helm controller. If you are a Helm user, Helm users, anyone? Yeah. Right? Flux loves Helm. We love Helm so much that we partner with the Helm project to improve the Helm SDK so that you can build a, a controller around Helm that does Helm in a declarative way. Right? So declarative rollbacks, declarative hooks, uh, you know, declarative uh, drift detection, all of the things that you don't normally get when you are using Helm on the command line tool, use Flux. You can do the GitOps native way for Helm. Um, we also support customize, so when you want to apply any of your manifests from wherever you are committing those to or building them from, from source code, uh, you can like modify them, patch them, use different environment variables in your different environments for your, you know, 5, 10, 30, 500 clusters, you know, wh whatever your, you know, kind of fresh experience of, of Kubernetes is in your environment, Flux is ready to scale to that. Uh, Flux has an amazing bootstrap UX. And so like the bootstrap problem is familiar to anybody in infrastructure who's trying to get systems stood up uh, with their dependencies all kind of operating and then glued together to actually operate with each other. And um, if you want to have a great bootstrap experience in GitOps, uh, we integrate directly with GitLab, GitHub, and many other Git providers. Uh, the community has also been so active in building things like extensions uh, for code editors, like VS Code, uh, user interfaces. We've got actually multiple user interfaces out in the community uh, for using Flux as a visual representation of your cluster so you can understand what's going on in your developer platform, and so much more. Get involved in the community. Um, Flux is multi-cluster. It is multi-tenant. The way that we built the Flux API is so that you could shape it to your particular continuous delivery approach. It's going to meet your specific needs. Uh, and we've got security in mind with that tenancy, uh, um, tenancy examples and all that. Uh, 
Uh, Flux can use multiple sources. We have support for you to just commit your stuff to Git repositories. Uh, you can also build your manifests, package them into OCI repositories, and use that as a source. Uh, you can commit your YAML to S3 buckets uh, and, and all kinds of stuff. And then verify all of that with your GPG keys. You can do cosign signatures uh, for those very big environments. And we have lots of Flex users in incredibly large environments. We even have implemented uh, sharding on label selectors for all of these resources uh, so that you can split up the work against uh, multiple instances or multiple replicas of all the individual Flux controllers. So uh, security, reliability, and scale, um, all in an extensible way that interoperates with many beautiful cloud-native projects. We also have Flagger. Flagger is a sub-project that lets you do continuous delivery. And so if you're looking for things like canaries, blue-green deployments, A-B testing, traffic mirroring, all with automatic rollbacks, uh, extensible hooks to you know, make, make it so that somebody has to click a button in Jira before the canary rolls out. You can do that with Flagger. It's awesome, uh, even though Jira is not sometimes. Right? Um, we've got ingress support, gateways, service meshes. The way that Flux is built, you don't even have to change any of your configurations. You can have your deployment sitting there, add Flux, make a canary object, and then suddenly it's rolling. Like you don't have to make any special resources, learn any new APIs. It can integrate with Istio or whatever other thing you've installed in your cluster. Uh, we've done a lot of work to support that. Um, the way that Flux does this is that you have to, it, it has to instrument into the metrics of what's going on with the traffic flow of your application. Uh, and it has to understand if your app is healthy or not. And so we've got support for Prometheus, Datadog, many others with a bunch of default behaviors and custom metric support. All right, so what's new here at KubeCon? Um, there were no CVEs in our recent security audit. As you heard, we work really well with Helm and even better with our latest release. Um, if you care about benchmarks, check out our blog post on that. And here at KubeCon, we've got a Flux maintainer talk where Stefan Prodan will be talking about the roadmap. And we have a wonderful birds of a feather tomorrow where we'll be showing all the ecosystem members uh, contributing to the future of Flux. So uh, come by our Flux booth in the project lounge. We're also part of uh, George's tour. And uh, fluxcd.io slash KubeCon is our site where it has all of our sessions and activities um, or scan the QR code. So thank you. We will have custom stickers. So come <laughs> to the pavilion. So thanks.